In this video, I'm talking about these really awesome liquid transitions from AE Juice, and I'm gonna show you how to use them right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got two video clips on your timeline, so we've got this first clip here, and we've got this second clip here, rather than just hard cutting from one clip into another, we could add a really awesome liquid transition and that is where AE Juice comes into play. So this is AE Juice, and this is their entire pack in Premiere. So they've got Kinetic Typography, Cyberpunk, HUD, Liquid Elements, Animated Emojis, so on. But we're focusing on the transitions. So we'll go into the transitions pack. And as you can see, we've got these really awesome transitions. So these are all custom made presets that you can just essentially drag and drop onto your timeline. So we've got some basic transitions and we've got some more advanced transitions. But how do you use them with your video clips? Well, I'm gonna take two transitions that I like. So we'll take transition four, we'll double click and that's gonna import on the cursor. And then we'll take transition five and we'll do the same thing. So if we just watch these back without the footage, we've got this first one and then we've got this second one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose which transition I'm using for the in point. So we'll choose this one for the in point and we'll cut just as it fills the screen. So we'll cut that and we'll place that at the end of the first clip. So as we're watching this transitions in and covers up the screen. Now we need the other transition to be reversed. This is an in transition. So it's starting with an opacity layer. It's starting with that transparent layer so we can see the video underneath but it's transitioning in with the colored layer. So we'll right click, we go to speed duration and select reverse speed and okay. Now that's reverse that, so it's gonna start with the solid layer and then go into the transparent layer. So we're just gonna to scroll to the point where the animation is starting to happen. So it's around here, we can start to see the transition. We'll cut there and we'll pull that to the end of the first transition. So there you go, that looks really awesome. Although the problem is because these are different colors, it is a little bit harsh. The transition between the first transition and the second transition doesn't look great. So what I'm going to do is go into effects, search for tint, T-I-N-T. -T. We'll drop that on to transition four. We'll go into effect controls. And as you can see, we've got matte black two and matte white two. So we're gonna change both of those but I'm gonna hover over the first one and we're gonna change it to this red. So we'll select that second transition, use this eyedropper tool to select this red and we'll do that on the white as well. And now when we hover over the second transition, it's changed it from that white cream color into the red. So when we play this back, you can see we transition in and transition out. Of course, if you did want to speed this up there, all you have to do is double click the first one Speed duration will go to 300%, so that's triple speed. We'll do the same on the second one. Speed duration is 300%. We'll just scrub through to make sure this works. It does work, we'll play this back. And as you can see, that was a really awesome and creative way of transitioning from one clip into another clip. Of course, there are so many other examples though in AE Juice. Now there's 140 different transitions in this pack. And the great thing is with all of these transitions is they are pre-made. And the great thing is Adobe treats them as a normal video. It's not treating them as something special or something fancy or something that you need anything extra to work with. It treats them as a native Premiere video. So you just go into effect controls and if you want to change anything, you can change the scale, the position, you can add rotation to anything you like. It's completely up to you. So if you're looking for an easy way to spice up your video editing, then I would suggest checking out these transitions because they're really awesome and they're going to save you an absolute world of time when it comes to editing. There is a link in the description below if you're interested in checking them out. If not though, don't worry, that's completely fine. And there you go, that is the AE Juice Liquid Transitions Pack right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and that is how you use them. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.